My fellow Americans, I know most of you will hardly recognize me and be thinking, what on earth happened to that man's black suit? It's been dry cleaned, I apologize. Over the past several months, disclosures about the National Security Agency's surveillance methods have raised serious concern. Following these disclosures, millions of emails, tweets, and internet comments have urged me to drastically reform the NSA. Now I want you to know we hear you. Today we're announcing some changes to the NSA, and I'm happy to say that many of these reforms are based entirely off your feedback. First, we shouldn't be spying on Americans who haven't broken any laws. Daryl Spooner of Topeka, Kansas, made a lot of coherent points on this subject in an email to me. He also made a lot of coherent points when he made the same argument in emails to his wife, his mother-in-law, his work colleague, his buddy Drake, a parody account for the comedian Jeff Foxworthy, and to a Washington Post reporter sent from an email address created to ensure his anonymity. So Daryl, we respect your privacy, and we are no longer going to peek into your emails. You can consider this an early birthday present, which you're receiving two days before the surprise party at Red Lobster that your family's been planning by Gchat for the last two weeks. Second, and I think this is a great show of respect to our greatest global allies, we're no longer going to tap the phones of heads of state we consider friendly. Angela Merkel said something very smart recently in a call she was having with David Cameron. If Germany and the United States are such good friends, why do they need to listen in? I happened to be listening in on that call, and let me tell you, I wanted to pick up the road right then and assure her that I agreed. Unfortunately, Madame Merkel then got a call from her physician, so I couldn't just cut the line at that moment. But after she talked with the doctor at some length, I called her right up and said, Angela, it's Barack Obama here. First, I'm sorry to hear about the trouble you're having with goiters, and second, we don't want to ruin our country's friendship over some silly spying. Today, I'm happy to say that America's relationship with the Merkel government has vastly improved, much like Prime Minister Merkel's goiters, which from what I understand of medical German, have also vastly improved. Third, and I want to direct this directly to a true patriot, Michael Bowen and his wife Jennifer, who is also a true patriot. The NSA will now need a warrant to intercept communications from law-abiding citizens. Michael is always joking with his wife Jennifer that she shouldn't send him anything too risque since the NSA is probably reading their text messages. He likes to make the same joke via text to his mistress Linda Watkins. Now I agree with Michael, the US government has no right to peer in on the private conversations Michael has, whether with his wife, his mistress, his backup mistress, or with any member of the freaky Dracula-themed sex club he attends most Thursdays. These texts are between Michael, his mistresses, and his fellow nymphomaniac vampires. So to Michael, to his wife Jennifer, to his long-time on-again, off-again mistress Linda Watkins, and to each and every member of the fan gang of New Bedford, I apologize. Finally, Dennis Maynard from California. On the night that you proposed to your fiancé, Lying in sleeping bags next to your bride-to-be at the top of Mount Shasta, gazing up at the stars, you caressed her hand and whispered into her ear, No one will ever experience this. This is just you and me up here. This is our moment. This is precisely the type of interaction that the NSA will no longer be blindly and senselessly eavesdropping on with our secret fleet of invisible and traceable camera drones. Enjoy your wedding, Dennis. Agreeing on these reforms was a difficult process. But with your help and honest feedback, we think the National Security Agency can keep Americans safe while also respecting their innate right to privacy. We hope that the new, less intrusive NSA is to your liking. And if you don't think these reforms go far enough, remember, we're listening. We're always listening.